Hey guys, in this video we are about to demonstrate how to display your cruise bot on any device, whether it's in your local LAN network or over the internet. To do this, we need a separate tool called Ingrog. It allows you to create some sort of URL that you can use anywhere, without having to set up port forwarding or anything else on your router. To do this, we'll start by going to the Ingrog website. That is www.ingrog.com. On the webpage you can see the sign up button at the top right, so we're going to click it. And you're going to enter all the information they need. So we'll start with the name. There we go. Email address twice. We'll just choose a random password. We can also choose to create an account with Google or GitHub, but for now I'm just going to register a normal account. We're going to be logged in automatically. So after we're logged in, the first thing we need to do is download the application. I'm going to save it in my Goose folder because it's useful to have them next to each other because every time I start my Goose bot, I also start the Engrog. Nope, not there. There we go. I'm going to extract the uh, application. We can do it using WinRAR or 7-Zip or anything. Now we can see the application. It's the only file that's in the folder right now. As you can see, the port I'm using on my Goosebot is 2040. We're going to remember that because we'll need it for the Engrog forwarding. So let's start the application. Once it's started, we'll need to enter a command to link our local Engrog to the public URL we're going to create. So on the status page, you'll copy the commands and paste it here. Oh, this looks like a Linux command, so we're going to delete the dot and the slash, and there we go. So now that we've linked our local instance of Engrok to our Engrok account, we're going to convert it to forward our bot through port 2040 to the internet, to a randomly generated URL. For this we'll need to enter a command in our Engrok application. I already have the command ready here. This would be the command to forward port 2040 to Engrok. If you want to forward multiple ports, for example if you're running multiple instances of the bot, you can create a config.yml file and place it in the same folder as our ingrog. The config file would look like this, but I'll just copy all the information you need to the description of the video on YouTube. So for now, I only have port 2040 active, so I'm just going to enter that command here. Oh. Enter it here. And we'll see that two randomly generated URLs are created, one HTTP, one HTTPS, which would be more secure. So now we're going to look at our status page, but we need to refresh the page first to see the pages, the URLs. So these are the URLs that are created. I'm going to click the HTTPS one, and we'll see we arrive on the Google Xbot page. I'm just going to log in. And as you can see, we see our bot. Here it is still locally, and this is to the Engrog URL. If you have any questions concerning Engrog, feel free to ask them on Discord. Thank you, bye bye.